Call it experience. Call it instinct. Frank Neeks has just found what could be the sovereign. If the team can date this wreck to the early 1800s, that would certainly be strong evidence that this is the sovereign. The process for dating this wreck is a long archaeological procedure which involves examining and evaluating the structural characteristics of the ship, the length and width of timber framing, the construction and reinforcement of ship knees, and the method for fastening sheathing to the frame. It involves wood sample analysis to determine the kind of trees used in the building. Frank has moved to a point closer to the island's shoreline. He is sweeping over a sandy area just to the side of the granite ledge where the Sovereign could first have smashed timbers and keel before slipping into deeper water. His hunch is correct. Here are musket balls and cast metal artifacts once held by the deep ridges in the granite ledge which through storm and tide and time have been distributed in this pocket of sand. But wait! Frank has spotted an edge of what could be the most important find of the day. It's a silver coin. The strongest clue yet that this is the site of the Sovereign. 